nice So you might wanna open your eyes If you blink then you'll miss it Cause we each got our limits But even after the finish The low Previously on the Iron Fist Institute. What's the last thing you expect to find at the bottom of a mineshaft? I'd say a group of kobolds being secretly controlled by a ghostly figure is certainly up there. And now, our adventurers have a very spooky sight in front of them. Who are you going to call? The Iron Fist Institute. Let's see how they get on. Just having a quick look, I restarted Foundry and that, and went, F it, where did we get to? Um, <laughs> and then I, the, the picture came straight up, and I was like, oh, thank goodness for that. I think I stopped it on a cliff edge, didn't I? Yeah, yeah I think Mishnin was talking to the kobold, and then apparently, was it the kobold that just like sort of fainted, and as it hit the floor, the go like a ghost just appeared in front of Mishnin? Um, actually, he just stepped out of the the cobalt. Ah, oh, right. Um, and then he collapsed. It was. Can I post a picture? I think I posted a picture of um the so-called wing. Yeah, we saw the cobalt. With the with the wooden wings. Oh yeah. Yeah. That would be cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I think after we'd seen it, Hannah had posted what she'd imagined him in the um. In the Sunday gifts, I think it was. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's it. Her picture's better, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a word with her, actually, and see if she's done any more uh, color coloring in of your oh, icons. Oh, she sent me a, a picture of uh, Mishnin with some, uh, some coloring in, and it looks absolutely phenomenal like i am I'm yeah blown away by how good it looks yeah so same here i got one yesterday just with some colors and she just said oh um not quite done but how basically how how would you think of, of these colors and i was just like yeah got like nothing to complain about with that <laughs> yeah <laughs> but she's she, she's so uh, i always feel because she's not here now uh, i've always felt that she's so worried that people are going to be like oh that's not right that's not right and it's like Everything you do is better than what I could have imagined. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. Stop worrying about us. Yeah. I just want to see what you come up with. Yeah. It's like it's like it seems like at every stage she was like, "So, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Does that sound all right?" And I was just like, "Yeah, go for it. That sounds awesome." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it wasn't what I was thinking of, but it's better than what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And most importantly, it's so much better than what I could ever come up with. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know, I could never get a drawing as good as that. I could never design something as, as amazing as that. <laughs> let alone then colour it in. I'd, I'd struggle to colour it, in, it, colour it in within the lines, let alone get the right colour scheme. And Oh man, Mishnin just looks so cool. It looks so earthy. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. Oh man. See, I wouldn't have trouble colouring in the lines because I'd just do a little stick man and be like, there you go. Well, yeah, yeah there's <laughs> no lines to colour in. That would be good, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah honestly, what she did with the tattoos that Beck has on her arms is just so cool. I love it so much. So the general consensus is she's doing all right then. Oh, yep. God, yeah. yeah, just all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, customer feedback is definitely positive. <laughs> As we were um, saying, oh, I'm getting some feedback from someone. Yeah, I think uh, I think Kay's got a little bit of echo. Echo. Me? I'm on mute. Uh, no, you're not, because we just heard you talk.
echo. <laughs> you're, you're awfully loud for someone that's supposedly silent. <laughs> oh, away. <laughs> <laughs> 15 minutes staring at a buffer and then you get James. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> You've missed this, haven't start... you? I have missed you, fools. Yeah. You fools. <laughs> <Big> fools. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've missed you, you crazy plonkers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a quick check. James, have you been watching football all the Euros? Um, I've watched almost every game, yeah. Because I've noticed that your Scottish accent has got stronger since the last time we were on, I feel. Um, I think it might be just shouting at the screen. You know, I think it's because I've only just regained my voice from having shouted on uh, on Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> if you'd ask me on a Tuesday, uh, it'd be yes. But <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, as it stands, you guys have managed to reach the third level of the uh, uh, mine. Uh, you discovered or pointed in the direction of the boss who was trekked and as you were talking uh, missing took an interest in a satchel that trex had around his shoulder yeah i believe i was told uh, it had I some uh, some herbs and some uh, natural yes. natural wonders so you have uh, um but oh, the at the time trex was being very possessive of it um but now um the ghost has stepped out of his body and Trex has collapsed to the floor. What would you like to do now? I think uh, I think Michelin is just going to go like pure pale white. Like he has no idea how to process this. He's never seen anything like this in all of his years. So he's just in absolute shock, like petrified. Beck is just okay. jumping behind Mortis, trying to see, like, what, what's going on? Because I can't see. I'll turn around and lift up Beck and turn around Beck. and put her in front of me. Thank you. I look over like, oh, there, there's a ghost. Um, so what I want to do then, uh, Mishnin, I, I want you to roll a charisma saving throw. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> With my minus one. Oh, oh, I, oh, God, oh dear. Is this by any chance uh, related to magic? Um, because if it is, I do I get would... advantage. Okay, I'll I'll give you advantage after that roll. I'll give you advantage. <laughs> Watch me get a natural one here. No, but okay, that's slightly uh... better. Uh, it still doesn't sufficient. Ah, I'm about um, to get possessed. Uh, you are indeed. The <laughs> oh, <yeah>. steps <laughs> out of Rex and steps straight into Missing. <laughs> uh, um, basically, Missing uh, James, uh, you can see what's going on, but you have physically no uh, input to your character now. You have been waiting for this opportunity for so long, haven't you? <laughs> oh, yes. What is the only way we could shut James up? <laughs> have, a, have a ghost possess his character. <laughs> um, but uh, to to your sort of save, uh, some sort of savior, Beck was actually watching, um, and so she would have seen um, you being absorbed it by the ghost the ghost absorbing into you um who else is stood there i would like uh, a perception check from mordus um and i think it's ben's character in front of you yeah well danny was just kind of stood behind you know oh mate i'm gonna i'm gonna say that you'll see that anyway but uh Mordus definitely perceived. So all three of you watched as this ghost appeared and then basically stepped straight into um, Mishnin. Get out! Oh, so oh that, that's well him. weird. Um. 
and after a, a second or so, Michelin turns around to you and says, well, it's a bit small, but I suppose it'll have to do. Yeah, you ain't going to do nothing, buddy. Just yeah, I, I'm going to kind of run run over, grab Michelin by the shoulders, just start shaking him, saying, Michelin, are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in here, but but really, he's he's a little bit occupied at the moment. Um, could you pass me my satchel, please? And and you see Michelin trying to desperately trying to reach down to pick up the satchel um, that was on Trex. What do you want Can with I... our friend? Well, I I need to get back and finish my my research. Why don't you just float around as a ghost? Don't be silly. I can't do that. I have to be in, in. I need to be able to physically touch my its my experiments. What is it you're experimenting with? Well, I'm I'm researching and cataloguing all the um, the the uh, fauna of this wonderful area. Um, who's grabbing? Who's grabbed him at the moment? Uh, me, <laughs> Feldani. Uh, I'd like you to do a strength check, and James, can you do a strength check, please, to see who's the strongest? Is it just a straight up strength roll, or is it a saving throw? Uh, it's it's pretty much a straight strength. All oh, right, just a strength roll. Oh. Uh, actually, he managed to worm out of your your clutch and grabs the satchel off of. The unconscious body of Trex. So he will will step there. Um, yeah. The other two goblins are kind of stunned and are just standing there, going, uh, "No idea what the heck is going on." The, the boss has collapsed. Um, they're kind of thinking, "Should I draw my weapon and attack this gnome who seems to have been part of it?" At the moment, they are undecided. What do you guys want to do? You've got six seconds. Uh, they're I'm looking. Gonna... What are you doing there, Ash? Oh, go ahead. Ash, Ash first. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, gonna run up and grapple. You're gonna tackle grapple him. him? Yeah. Okay. Just gonna start past and tackle him. Uh, is that that's a straight weapon? Is that not an unarmed? Uh, I'm just going to grapple. Grapple strength. Or acrobatics, or I think. Strength or dexterity check. Yeah. May I do an acrobatics? Okay. There it goes. Oh god, you guys are all rolls. Um, against his, isn't it? Sorry. Yeah. Is that against my acrobatics? So James... or... I think it's acrobatics or strength, but I'm not sure either of those are going to be particularly good for you. Um, acrobatics and strength are both the same modifier. Let's go acrobatics. Um, that's a 13 there to come up with. Let's see um, if I can't find the tabletop. Okay, you've lost foundry for some reason. Let me uh, uh, refresh. <laughs> I'll save. Uh, if it's a 13, as you're the one who has to beat um, her number, that will mean you pass. Because you oh. just managed to sidestep as she tries to grab you. Uh, ben, what is... Um, if if the kobolds are starting to look shifty, um, I, I don't want to hurt Mishnin, so I'm just going to kind of ready the crossbow just in case the kobolds try and do anything. Are you pointing it meaningfully at the kobolds? Not, not as in sort of holding it up and, and basically ready to fire but I've kind of it, it's I've pulled it from my side and I'm just holding it pointing down to the ground so if, if they do start looking like they're trying to attack I'm just going to literally pull it up and fire Okay, you're That's effectively fine. doing a Mexican standoff like from a western film but no one else realises they're engaged in one with you <laughs> yeah and, and my moustache is nowhere near as magnificent as the normal <laughs> Arizona film oh don't say that <laughs> uh and what about Mordus? Uh, so, 
the um, goblins to try to the, is it goblins kobolds kobolds isn't it is it yeah kobolds like they try to attack mission and did you see oh they're getting ready to... they're kind of dumbfounded and they kind of look like they're looking at missing with a bit of distaste okay uh i'd like to get between kobold and mission and I will let stand and can they guard? There you go. Can I push mission in behind me? Okay. Um, so you're kind of you're right in between them. Yeah. Um. What about uh? Where are we? Timmy. I presume I've got absolutely no idea what's going on at the moment. You'll have heard a bit of a kerfuffle, I think. You may have heard some of the, the talking going on. Um, and you definitely would have watched um, Mordus barging through. Okay, I'll follow up behind. And I'll so as far as you're concerned, on. you can see that one of the kobolds is on the floor the other two are backed up in the corner and everybody seems to be hus hustling around uh what about adri okay she's on mute at the moment Kay will be with us in a moment she's just going Kay through uh, an update to our systems at the moment <laughs> <laughs> K is updating to K10. <laughs> 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 which implies which implies that previously she was a K9. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Going downhill. Um, uh, I'm going to quickly move her around. Hello. 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 <laughs> Nobody Sorry. <laughs> if you've been affected uh, by I anything James has said this session, please call the Samaritan. <laughs> I'm going to let me write that number down. <laughs> uh, okay, I moved you around because I assumed you'd follow Timmy. Yes, I would have followed Timmy at some point. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so, I think the best thing to do is to get you all to do initiative. Yay! There it is. I've added you all to the combat. Um, These rolls tonight are going just as well as they were last time. <laughs> oh, no, not again! <laughs> Literally, a big fat number two. <laughs> That's not what <laughs> Big deuce. Oh. Has everybody rolled? Um uh, Kay hasn't rolled. Sorry, I forgot how. Um she was looking so at <laughs> right, right hand side, top right, you should find combat tracker or boundary. It's like the clinch thing. Yeah. And then down there, you'll find your name and a dice on the right-hand side of it. I like the three coal bolts hidden inside the coat for the image. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't do it, I can roll it for you, Kay. I'm taking it. I don't know why it's happening. got the same gear I've got. Um, have you got the dice on the right hand side of your name? No, I'm getting it from utility. There's no dice on my name. It's a number. Oh, oh I, had, that, I, I, had to, I had to log out, log back in last time that happened. It's a dice now. Can 
you see it now, or...? Yeah, it comes out, but I'll hover over it, it just disappears. Okay, let me roll it for you for now. No worries. Alright. Well, that is, it seems if I roll, you get a better number as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's <up>. alright. <laughs> Um, and luckily for you guys, uh, I'm going to say that the kobolds for the moment aren't going to do anything. So, uh, Adri, you're up first. Um, I will probably just hold an action. I'll hold a stab. So if if anyone comes near me, I'll stab them. <laughs> if anyone comes near you, you'll stab yeah, no one. them. I mean... <laughs> Timmy it's turns like, around to just be like, like, oh, this is awfully car. strange, isn't it? And she just, shank, 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 shank. Madre's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. been napping on her feet, so she's too hard at the time. Okay, so moving on, my kobolds aren't going to do anything, so... Baldani! Um, I'm going to sort of move to my right into the little alcove bit just up here and just keep like, keep watching these kobolds and just kind of say to the go sleep thing, I'm just going to be like, Ishnin, go sleep person, whatever we call you. Um, if you want to start making your way out, and we could maybe discuss this somewhere a little less crowded and I'm just gonna keep my um keep my crossbow ready in case one of the oh balls goes for an attack and I'll just fire a shot. Okie dokie. Um for some reason my system has decided to go and, and I've just ended so... my turn there. Yep, Beck. Can I? I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna lean in close to him and just say, like, "You hurt him in any way, and I'll f send you towards that light again." Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Why did that rally so many dice? That was um, I think it's Kate. Only Kate. Coming through. <laughs> that was Kay's initiative. Kay's initiative is suddenly um... drama. <laughs> Glad you she could join us, um, or at least a nice. I've had enough. I've had enough. I quit. I've had enough. <laughs> to be fair though, if you, if, you do end, if you do end up on death saves, Kay, that would be rather a dramatic pause. <laughs> <laughs> Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh. uh, so, uh, so Mishnin has picked up this, the satchel and is now placing it over his head so it drapes down one side. Um, and he's put his hand over one side of it. And he's going to try and nip past uh, Beck. Um, as mm. you didn't carry out any actions... Um, he's going to try and move. He exceeded his movement. How much movement have you got? Just 25 feet. Yeah. For some reason. I do only have little legs. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm going to... I need to get rid of this bloody movement space. This is awful. Oh my god! That's the rest of K's okay, so initiative rules! <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. Kate, when you said that your computer was updating to like Windows 10 or whatever, I didn't realise that that incorporated the time machine aspect to it as well. <laughs> I've really, I, what I've done is I've installed a cheat thing, but it's not working. <laughs> Just 
a little bit well, hilarious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just keep rolling not... dice until you get a nat 20. Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I love the fact the dice throw onto the screen in some sort of pause of concentration and all of a sudden... <laughs> <laughs> No one does get up it. Secretly, there's no delay. She's just clicking on like D20s five times and then just rolling them. <laughs> it was quiet without me last night. Um, wasn't quite the same. Okay. Not as many dice rolls. <laughs> I'm not sure how many times you must have pressed, but I reckon it was a fair few. Um, Several. <laughs> We'll probably have more coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're still... Yeah, 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 just cartwheeled uh, around the corner and they all came flying out the pocket. I think a D4 would be the most people to stand on, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's hey, a cow most... drop, the D4. Yeah. <laughs> okay, most of those dice rolled down the chasm. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> lost no, my dice! Uh, missed it. Yes. Do you want to roll a charisma saving check? Let's Absolutely. see if we can punch him out. Oh, is this... Oh, is this... Like, to actively try and push the ghost out of my body? Yes. Um, when we were talking about before, that you can just <laughs> choose to, to fail checks. <laughs> yeah. could, I, could I just choose to just fail it, regardless? Because I'm, yeah. I'm kind of okay at the moment with I think mission would be okay as well after getting over that initial shock and being like, okay, I'm not in any exact danger and this ghost clearly has some kind of reason to be possessing me. I think he'll just allow it to do what it's trying to do at the, for the time being. Okay. Um, because you're willing to do that, I will give you a snippet of information about uh, your man. Um, his name is Janeth Aloha. Janeth Alawa. I will send you a quick message. Okay, great. I'll take a little note of that. Basically, so you can see what your <laughs> name is. Uh, that should have sent you a message. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. Good. Um, so you've given up. That's your piece of information. Let me just nip it back to Mordus. Did you not move? Missioning hasn't oh, moved then. No. You're right. It's oh, right. You're right. Um, has decided to give him. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. No. No. Uh, no. Yep. Yeah, no. Um. Ask James to move it. See, there's there's a cobalt icon talking on top of missioning. Then to do that. No, it's just that missioning has decided that he's exceeded his movement, and that's me setting. I'm going to have to go into some settings, and I don't know how to do them right this moment to remove this goddamn movement thing. James. Yes. Just above where it says players. Um, does it have mission in and then zero feet it in a little not. box? Oh, okay. And even though it's my turn, I don't have that either. Oh, okay. I don't even have... Fine. No, for no, some no. reason, it's... And off the top of my head, I can't remember which module is controlling that. Um... Boundary just likes James's technical difficulties, Hitty, so it just does this on purpose <laughs> so he can play it. <laughs> uh, 
I was going to say, is it only do? Does it only do that if you try and drag it? If you click on the icon and use the the arrow keys, does it allow you to move at all? Um, I I pressed it there and it says movement is set to combat turn. It's not your turn. Ah, uh, right. I don't know if I'd be able to move if it was my turn. Ah. Uh, Have you got a button, Martin, where you can flick through the turn order? Right, I've gone back to you. Try it now. There you go. There we go. That worked. Excellent. Well done. Tell you what, you control the mouth, I'll control the legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sold for cat. Um... <laughs> We've turned mission into a pantomime horse. <laughs> You're the Did you use that chat line on Bumble? <laughs> Writing that one down now. <laughs> uh, so that's you moved. Mordus. Hold up. Can we just address this fact as well that Adrian's just gone unconscious? <laughs> oh. <What? laughs> Yeah. Down at the bottom right, after all our dice rolls, it's now come up with unconscious. <laughs> that <was about> right. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but that's, oh, that's, 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 that's the. Um, Realised that he um, needs, needs to be unconscious, although it says painted. Um, I need to get rid of that uh, adjective as well. It comes up and j randomly takes an, uh, an adjective from a table that it has. And some of them are good, and some of them are downright weird. Um, I don't we think you have um... adjectives for uh, the cobalt this time. Yeah, didn't we have? Yeah, no, I think you blank them so that we can't see them, but you still can. But I'm sure we had a <laughs> cobalt a couple yeah. of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. One that didn't wipe. <laughs> so at the moment, I've I've got rab rabid, painted, and uh, ex uh, I can't even pronounce that. Eclectic. <laughs> Epileptic, did you say? Epileptic. I'll let you say. Oh, eclectic. Right. <laughs> An epileptic cobalt. <laughs> In 10 minutes, they'll be strobe lighted. <laughs> you never get past this combat. Um, <laughs> <mod. Yeah. laughs> no, I'm just going to take a step back. Just taking a shield. Okay. Between the kobolds and our group. Uh, so I'm in front of Beck, but between the kobolds. Okay. And um, try not to stand on the unconscious one. Okay, you're just being kind of polite uh, about I, not, not kicking him. Or can I push, like uh, push the unconscious one kind of slightly further back? Uh, you like could, if. The arm, maybe. Yes. Um, I'm going to be able to have to be able to select him first, and I don't. No, let me just like that. There we go. Hey, yeah, that worked. Um, one thing I forgot to do was uh, K. Uh, not K. Sorry, Beck. Mm -hmm. um, does Beck want to try and grab Mishnin as he's running past? Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, are you going to do another grapple? Yes, please. Okay. Are you kidding me? It's getting worse. <laughs> no. Uh, Meshnin needs to roll uh, his attempt to nip fast. Oh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop rolling well. Uh, I don't know what's come over me. Well, actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> It's a ghost <laughs> called Janeth. <laughs> Janeth is having a great time. <laughs> uh, Timmy, a mission seems to be running towards you with a satchel over his shoulder. Um, I don't know any different, do I, at the moment? <laughs> Not really. Um, I mean, you could do a perception roll to see whether you notice the, the satchels new to his attire. Okay, I will do that. I'm going to say you're going to notice it, mainly because uh, you have to bear in mind how tall is Mishnin? Three foot. Three foot, yes. Um, so the strap 
for this satchel it is like one of those across the sh over the shoulder and across the body type satchel straps um, mm. was designed for a human not a three foot wonder uh, so therefore it's actually dragging along behind slightly behind me uh, Mishnin as he's walking okay. as he's nipping along so it does look a little bit comical on him very typical that a kobold satchel would be dragging behind uh, uh. <laughs> what's that sound effect you use for really corny jokes <laughs> it, um, a little voice clip of me going that <laughs> game <laughs> 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 um, to be, I, he has a bag. It's not really anything particularly amazing. So. <laughs> it's certainly not the strangest thing you've seen Mission and do. Ooh, no, bag. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, noticing it's oversized, I would just offer to carry it for him. You want me to carry <laughs> that for you? <laughs> Very kind of you. Uh, one word from is no, it's mine. And does he say no, it's mine in Mishnin's voice or in a different voice? Uh, will it come out in Mishnin's voice? Um, okay. Just no, that's that. mine. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and then I will just. That's my turn. I haven't got yep. any issue with that. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. It's perfectly acceptable. Okay. Yep. Great. End turn. Does everybody get that sound effect? Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I was tempted to get rid of it because one of the other groups, one of the uh, players, so I won't name which one, jumped out of his skin. <laughs> do you uh, know what it reminds me of? Um, do you remember Law and Order? Yeah. Well, the yeah, it reminds me of the, the bit <laughs> <laughs> between scene bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do <-dum>. Court. <laughs> Courthouse 652. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> Fifth day, 15th of Elysis, 1490 DR. <laughs> um, so he is now going to step forward, this chappy, um, to protect his boss. Um, not so much to attack you guys, but he is going to be... Um, He has his javelin held like a protective. Um, so it's a three quarter height. It's sort of pointing upwards. Uh, not so much to point it at you, but in a yeah. defensive position. Yeah, that's cool. Say, so I'm looking after my boss. Um, and as far as they're concerned, you've probably done them a favor because he's no longer possessed. He might be unconscious, but he's not got that crazy person in him. Yeah. So from Mordos, that respect. Mordos just had, hold his hands up as if like, we're not going to do you any harm at the moment if you just don't cause any. Um, you uh, Are you saying anything like that to them? No, I just that's the kind of action I'm kind of doing. Just yeah. ca you're, calm you're down or keep, keep back kind of thing. He's going to do it in sign language. Yeah. <laughs> put Braille on the wall. Speak. Uh, Adri. Do we know that... Do we know that Mission is... best or not? Or does he you look don't... normal? He, he looks perfectly normal, other than he's running along with a bag uh, satchel that's tra trailing slightly behind him. It looks more normal than he ever has in all the time he's knowing it. Um, he's he's does was Mitchin in run much because he's he's kind of running along as fast as a three foot gnome can. Considering every time you've seen him so far, he's either been half the size he should be, like the twice the size he should be, a woman, purple, or completely soaking wet and riding a dog. This is probably the most normal he's ever looked. <laughs> 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 Which ironically um, is strange. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Makes us question everything. And he's running towards Timmy and Adrian. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go, mission. 
I need to go and finish my research. I need to go and finish my research. Tonight I'll, be play tonight I'll be playing the role of Mishnin's Echo. <laughs> <laughs> this cave really does echo, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Just wait until we pass the water and you get a third character, James. <laughs> splish, 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 splish. <laughs> Six times he's mentioned in this episode's credits. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else what? you wish to do, Adri? Yeah, I want to know what research I need to do. Uh, I need to go and check on the, the, the flora. What he said. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> the echo's getting late. I'm going to go with him. Okay, so you're going you're gonna to wait for him to catch up with you and then you'll follow him, is that it? Yeah. Uh, as I said, these guys are going to play the part. Valdani. He's running um, fast. So I'm, I'm not necessarily going to stop him. Um, I'm, I'm just going to kind of look over towards the kobolds, like sort of show them that I'm kind of putting the crossbow away. And then just kind of give them a bit of a wave, and then just turn to um, Mishnin and the Ghost Man, and just be like, "Right, let's just head outside and just sit down and have a conversation about what's going on. Maybe we can help you, as long as you keep our friend safe." Well, oh, actually, I've got an idea, and he, that's that's all he can respond to you at the moment. Uh, if that, if uh, anything else? No, no, I'm just going to kind of let him continue going past. Okay. Uh, Beck? Um, I'm just going to... Wherever he's going, I'm just going to follow. So, okay. I don't know. So you're, you're going to tag behind whatever he does? Yeah. Okay, ducky. So, uh, what I would like is Valdani to do a a charisma, ca uh, charisma saving throw. Saving throw, did you say? Yeah. Uh, basically, you see a um, missionary reach out for you, touch you, and almost see the ghost hand coming out to try and uh, touch you, and then rub repel from you. Well. Hey! No! <laughs> <laughs> Bad dog! <laughs> Don't touch what you can't afford! <laughs> I'm uh, sure if you're looking to discover any flora or fauna and things like that. Uh, at which point I want uh, James to roll a charisma saving throw at advantage. Okay, okay. I don't know how to do advantage on D and D Beyond, so I'm just gonna roll it twice. That's a good start. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 And that's my lucky number, but it's not gonna help me out here. No. So he's still inside you. He manages to climb back inside you. Uh. Is there any way? Wow. Wait. So did he come all the way out and then go back in? Uh, so his hand. You. you uh, I think uh, Valdani would have been the only one who'd seen it, but basically um, a second hand came out of Mishnin's hand as he was touching Valdani, um, almost trying to push himself into... Try, he was trying to re, uh, possess Valdani instead of Mishnin, but okay. he failed. So he was quickly nipped back inside Mishnin. Hmm. Uh, and with that... I can't get into. Uh, could Mishnin move um, up to his movement? Uh, you can move through other people's. I think that's about as far as I can go in five squares. That's fine. Uh, each Thank you each for that. square is five foot, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's that's my uh, my max. And I've also noticed that the map is not entirely squared off with the the lines on the map. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't fit in 
bit. No, that's because the map's <laughs> offset. The it, weather. it actually makes quite a cool 3D effect, which is quite good for the um, bottomless pit right next to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad about that. Um, so <laughs> totally he's intentional, moved. of no. course. <laughs> um, Beck uh, yep. said she was going to move with him, so let me go back, and you should be able to move now. I think I'm good there. Yeah. Um, although it looks like you're off the edge, I'm going to say you're on. You're just on the, uh, yeah. the side there. I'm just edging around um, Audrey with her knife. <laughs> yeah, no one's got stabbed yet, thankfully. <laughs> uh, so Audrey said that anybody who comes towards her, she's going to stab. So she should have stabbed Mitten, really, and <laughs> Beck. Um, <laughs> She does have two knives, so she can edit it both at the same time. <laughs> Shish kebab! <laughs> or, or I guess in this instance, Mish kebab! Mish kebab. Mish kebab, whoa. <laughs> We're all going to take our 15 minute break while Kay rolls that dice. <laughs> Leave uh, me alone! <laughs> <laughs> If um, any could... YouTube ad sponsors are watching this, um, feel free to uh, give us some uh, some advertisements, some products to uh, to try and sell in these uh, short <laughs> short pauses while we wait for for <laughs> Kay to roll her dice. Sometimes the the <laughs> the advert slots could be five seconds. Sometimes it'll be an hour and a half. It just depends on how slow Kay's internet is. <laughs> <laughs> NordVPN, for example, if you'd like to sponsor, or uh, Coca-Cola. We don't have any issues like the Euros players. <laughs> Feel free to hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> Heineken, I've used your products a lot. I'm a big fan. <laughs> As I said earlier, there's a lot of things I will do for a free beer. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, after this, I don't think Microsoft are going to support us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> based, anyway, based on our previous comments on Max, I don't think Apple will either. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're being uh, fair about this. We're, yeah, we're yeah. equally abusive to everybody. <laughs> we hate all technology. <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on, Mordus, you now have a clear route behind you. Well, I'm just going to be the last line between the kobolds and whoever's at the back so uh, yep. Vishnin still to move so I'll kind of wait I'll move as he does okay I'll just do that okay. uh, Timmy um, would I have seen the hand come out of Vishnin when it went well, roll me a done? perception because you are looking down that you were looking down that way so roll me a perception check I'm going to say no with that. <laughs> you were looking slightly above. Maybe you're looking at the kobolds um, and what Mordus was doing. Or the satchel. Or the satchel or anything else. Um, the missioning sized satchel. I'm just going to um, hold any movement or action to follow the group as they follow missioning. Then. Yep, that's fine. You're going to cover their retreat. Mm -hmm. We're effectively just doing a big conga line, aren't we? Basically, yeah. it looks like it. And with that, our group dances back out of the mine, with one of their party possessed by a paranormal presence. How will they save Mishnin? Do they even really want to? You'll have to wait till next week for the answers. You feel like there's a hole in your soul And you've got nowhere else to go And you feel like you've been all on your own Well, she's calling you home She's calling you home oh, 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 oh. She's calling you home oh, 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 oh. Yeah, and home is where the heart is And you keep yours fully guarded But I know the mind is always with you 
And you won't find no place safer And there ain't no reservations At the Iron Fist Institute